Let's go out right now out to New York. That is where the former president, Donald Trump, attending the wake of a fallen New York City police officer. He is speaking to the media now. Let's listen on Live Now from Fox. I want to thank Bruce and all of the people that have worked so hard to make this area beautiful and safe. And this is what happened is such a sad, sad event, such a horrible thing. And it's happening all too often, and we're just not going to let it happen. We just can't 21 times arrest it, this thug. And uh, the person in the car with him was arrested many times. And they don't learn because they don't respect. They don't, they're not given the respect. The police are the greatest people we have. There's nothing and there's nobody like them, and this should never happen. I just visited with a very beautiful wife that now doesn't have her husband. Stephanie was uh, just incredible. Their child, brand new, beautiful baby, sitting there, innocent as can be, uh, doesn't know how his life has been changed. But uh, the Diller family will, you'll never be the same. You can never be the same. And we have to stop it. We have to stop it. We have to get back to law and order. We have to do a lot of things differently because this is not working. This is happening too often. Uh, it's an honor to be here, and again, I want to just thank all of you folks for uh, allowing this, and Bruce, thank you. Bruce has been a friend of mine for a long time. He's done an incredible job out here, but uh, this is such a sad occasion. Uh, the only thing we can say is maybe something is going to be learned. We've got to toughen it up. We've got to strengthen it up. This should never be allowed. Things like this shouldn't take place, and to take place so often. So. Thank you all for being here. It's an honor, and it's an honor for me to be here. This is a great family, the Diller family. I met the friends, and I met every one of them inside, and these are just incredible people that are just devastated. They're devastated. They've got a tough road. It's going to be a very tough road. So thank you very much, everybody. Appreciate it. Thank you, Bruce. Thank you very much. I just want to say, I just want to say thank you to President Trump uh, for coming here to be with the Diller family. It was very comforting for them. It was very warm inside, and uh, people were very, very, um, they were very blessed to have someone like President Trump who cared so much, spent a lot of time with the family, and was, uh, again, a tremendous comfort to the family and probably the most difficult time this family's ever had. May God bless Stephanie. Ryan, we are going to help raise because he's only one years old and he's going to grow up without a dad, but he's going to have thousands of dads that are going to look after him and uh, to Fran, his mother, and to Jessica, Jennifer and, and Jason, uh, his brother and sister, and the whole family, Aunt Carol, Uncle Jimmy. Uh, our hearts go out to them and may God bless them and may God bless America. Thank you. We got to toughen it up. We don't have that? law and order. These things can't happen. We need law and order. It just can't happen. Thank you very much. All right, the former president uh, there in New York saying we need law in order, paying his respects to the family of uh, fallen police officer Jonathan Diller. Uh, the Funeral will be happening on Saturday, and uh, this is right outside of the wake right now. A live look there as the motorcade for the former president has just left.